hey guys welcome back to my channel i'm back with another cooking video uh today we're gonna do ahi tuna uh, ahi tuna steak and i'm gonna call it like a sweet salad so stay tuned for that. right now on the stove i just have some beets steaming for the sweet salad and some sunflower oil heating up on medium for my little bananas and my ahi tuna steak. So while the oil's heating up, I have some little bananas in here and some cornstarch and cinnamon. I've never done this before. This was like a last minute decision to try, but why the hell not? I'm gonna see if they turn out kind of sweet and crispy in the salad. Um, if you're curious, these are the bananas I'm talking about. They're like the size of my thumb. They're cute. Here's my ahi tuna steak. Um, they're kind of expensive when you buy them. So I usually get half a pound, which is one steak, because I like to cook it the same day that I buy it. But for a pound, it's like maybe $13, $14 or something. So I have my ahi tuna steak, and I'm going to put some seasonings in this bowl. To um, So I'm going to use... Garlic, sea salt, and I put, I'm put. i putting this on the chunky setting so that it can come out chunkier. I'm not a salt and pepper kind of girl. You're never going to see me season anything with just salt and pepper, ever. Ever. Who does that? I understand natural flavors and all that, but whatever. This is an herb mix that I got. You can find stuff like this at weird places like Marshalls. I'm sure supermarkets sell it too. That's where I found it. I have some coriander, which is my favorite. I got garlic powder, which I love. I'm going to use a lot of this. If I could get it open. Yeah. Caraway seeds also my thing right now. And pepper, of course, on the big setting. That's what it looks like in the bowl. I'm gonna put my tuna steak in there. Make sure it gets all on every corner, every side, everywhere. My hands are clean too, by the way. Anybody else cook and use like every dish in your in your kitchen i cook using so many dishes if i don't clean as i go the sink would be filled with bowls and things okay so that's all ready to go that's how it should look oh my god it smells so good so i'm gonna wash my hands so i put my i hate to to the side and i'm gonna take my bananas and put them in my sunflower oil. Okay, all my bananas are in. And I think I'm gonna cook them. I think I'm gonna cook them for like a couple minutes on each side. So I'll come, while those are cooking actually, we can start mixing in the salad. Cooking for our salad, I have a green mix like from Trader Joe's and some arugula. I also have some Roma tomatoes and yellow boy tomatoes from my garden. They are really good and if you're a tomato person you would like yellow boys. They taste like regular tomatoes. They're just yellow. So putting those in 
I also have here some almond slivers. Almond and salad are like perfect together. And I like a lot, so. Gonna just take one. Moving on to our bananas, I'm gonna flip them over. I don't want them to burn or anything. So while the other side is going, I have my salad here and then I'm going to make my salad dressing. And another bowl because you have to use all the bowls in your house, of course. Duh. Got a bowl. I'm making this dressing out of almond butter. I was going to pick up peanut butter, but I don't like peanut butter. I want to like it, I just don't. Okay, so I'm going to take a big glob of this and put it in the bowl. Let's say like two globs. Yeah, that's, an, that's a measurement shot, Taj. Good job. Two globs. Putting in some honey to make it sweeter. And the smallest, well not the smallest drop, but a little drop of sunflower oil. Mix that together. I want it to be a little more watery. What can I add to this to make it watery? Water! So I'm going to take my nanas out. Yes, yes, it was at this moment I knew that I screwed up, but just keep watching. Because they burned. Cool. I let them burn. So the bananas are a fail. Because they burned. But maybe I can cut the burnt part off. So while our oil is hot, yes, I'm going to cook it in the same oil because I don't care. We're going to take our tuna steak and put that in there. This should this you have to keep an eye on because it should only cook for like two should only cook for like two minutes on each side. Maybe so apparently I don't know what happened with my camera, but I just cooked this a minute on each side. Not long at all. This is a really thick cut, so you don't want to cook it long. And make sure you get those the sides too. And feel it to see if it's squishy inside. And that's how you know it's done. Or at least that's how I know. I don't know how the chefs do it. So I'm putting this to the side. Turning this off while I cut my beets for my salad. These are just, again, these are just steamed. Oh, what is that? Nothing crazy. Much easier to cut through steamed than raw, but I eat them either way. Okay, put these in. So, I had my dressing. I added. Just in case it didn't record, because I don't know what happened to my camera. This is crunchy almond butter, um, honey, a little bit of water, and some balsamic vinegar. So I'm going to put this on my salad. Stick with some sweet and salty. I bought these capers and sea salt at... Marshalls and they were only a dollar fifty. Can't beat that. Especially if they're capers. So I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit of those in there too. Not a lot because it does have salt in it. A lot of salt. Then I'm gonna mix my salad up. I 
that's mixed up. Now I'm going to try these burnt bananas. Boom, burnt bananas in there. Sweet salad. Holla at me. Don't mix those up too much because you don't want them to get soggy. That salad is going to be... I'm going to plate this stuff up and I'll see you at the table. Okay guys, so here's your plate shot. I have my tuna steak here. Medium, rare, more medium, more rare, whatever. Perfect. I wouldn't eat it any other way. And I have my sweet salad. And I can't wait. I'm not showing you see more. I want to eat. Here we are. We're going to try this. I have my water here just in case it's disgusting. But I doubt it. So let's do the tuna steak first. Let's see. So good. So good. I mm, the crust is like my hands up. The seasonings and the cornstarch from the bananas that I fried. I thought it would be a huge mistake to fry it in the same oil, but it worked out for the best because there's like a crust from the cornstarch and the seasonings that we put on the steak. Beautiful. So let's try this sweet salad, even though I'm not going to lie, I tested it already in its bomb. But I'm going to try and get everything on here. I have a banana, a burnt, I did burn the bananas, but it's okay because I think it worked out anyway. Got a banana, got some tomato. Oh my god. That is so good. Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna devour this very unladylike. This is good. The dressing is so good. If you don't like salad or greens, you will like this. This is good. Oh my god. Ridiculous. Alright. I'm gonna go out here. You see me. Watch the video. Make it. Just make it. I'm, I'm going. Just, just make it up.